And welcome back to more uh, Zelda Deluxe first quest. So we're gonna be, uh, should be tackling level 5 in this part. And so far everything's been pretty predictable. You know, it's the same as the original first quest. Uh, the real changes come after level 5. You know, when you go to the second half of the game, that's when uh, all the kitty gloves go off. I need to buy for at least a little while, so I have a little bit of time to... Try to load up some cash. And again, we're not going to step into that portal yet. I actually might need to do some grinding off screen. Because <clears throat> I think I'm gonna need a fair amount of cash <clears throat> and uh, buy some stuff. <clears throat> uh, so that's gonna add up. I can do a lot of these secrets I haven't used yet, so um, I can. I probably may need to start using up some of these. That, yeah, that super bomb actually takes out a P hat, even if it's flying in midair. I mean, <clears throat> I'm not sure how strong a super bomb is, um, but it's all I know. It's pretty darn strong because it's. Um, I mean, it's hard to compare even how you know how many times stronger. Usually, it's like I think four times as strong as a bomb, but I think it's more. I don't know exactly how much damage that does. I mean, it kind of makes sense because it costs a lot of money to buy a super bomb. <clears throat> Should have a little bit of a oomph to it. So, same maze pass, so no difference here. A little bit different design of the armor statues there, though. We're already getting, like, uh, fire souls. Um, I don't think those are trebles. At least I don't think they are. Um, it's kind of subtle, but the trebles look a little bit different. <clears throat> okay, so that's basically a giveaway you're gonna get the step ladder in this place.
I'm just gonna leave that one lair. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go up, actually. No, I can't, I can't even go up. I think there's a river here. So luckily this first part, this whole first half isn't that tricky. You know, most of these enemies are nothing out of the ordinary. Now the hammer is very nice because it actually breaks their shield. Uh, the only thing is uh, it's actually weaker. Uh, a lot of other quests, I think they make the hammer as strong as your uh, magical sword. Here I think it's only as strong as your white sword. So it's a little bit weaker, but at least it still breaks the shield. And you notice the different colored block. Uh, this needs a bracelet to push. It's a heavier block there. These are getting as strong as a, a blue dark nut in terms of endurance. Uh, I'm not sure what I did with that. Did I just hit the shorter one. I didn't know if it just something reattached or something, or probably hit the one that only had like two pieces left or something. Yeah, it takes a lot of hits to bust that thing up. This hammer actually does have some range to it. Um, it doesn't just hit the tile right in front of you, it actually hits like, kind of above and below as well. Now, if you notice, these statues aren't firing at you. You think there's something in there because I used to have the flute. So after we uh, scoop up the step ladder, I go back and get that piece of heart outside afterwards. Now that I know I have the, I actually have the step ladder now. And here's the, um, kind of the level two quiver bag again. I. I, I probably wouldn't even buy that. <clears throat> Not that I have the money anyway. When I feel 16 arrow 16 bombs, that should be enough to hold for a little while. Okay, now we can actually go up. And 
the same thing three to dawn goes. I might as well just kale in the normal way. Because you actually do get some other items from these things. Ranging from arrows to money. And sometimes just bombs anyway. Uh, I don't even remember to pick up these arrows. Uh, come back to that later. key. Not that I'm sure on keys, I have plenty of them right now. Oh, free pass through this room, alright. Not complaining about this one. I think you can actually bomb to the left, so there's all sorts of ways to save keys. So, from level 4 onward, there's gonna be one <coughs> uh, magic uh, jar per. Dude, this level is actually pretty simple. Especially if you have the hammer. You know, it makes Dark Nuts uh, much more manageable. You have your step ladder, so things get a lot easier in this room. Oh, there's your boss key. <clears throat> kind of pretty much given for free in that room because you have step ladder safe spots. Might as well use the hammer since it has some range. Now the boss is the same as the original Zelda. <clears throat> so you're gonna have to find the whistle, which um, so conveniently is going to be placed right in this room, right by the boss. Kind of has a greenish color to that. Greenish tint to this thing. Time to fight the donut shaped thing. Now, I think this thing already splits into multiple pieces because the original was like one piece. And 
before getting the Triforce, you actually want to head on down. <clears throat> now, if you have the hammer, this room is a lot simpler. Because yeah, when they have no shield, you can just attack them head on. So don't forget the uh, magic container there. <clears throat> All right, so <clears throat> uh, that's level five cleared. All right, so I'm gonna go back and get that piece of heart that, uh, again, I still don't know why I thought I had the stepladder early on, but, oh well, more money, I suppose. I actually haven't even scouted the <clears throat> uh, left side yet. This whole area on the left. So I might have to start getting some of these, um, rupee secrets, because I'm gonna need, uh, need some more money. Unfortunately, it's kind of a long walk back because you have to, you can't go to to the right because of the maze path. Oh, a lot of loose change dropping. I think I need to buy a couple super bombs, actually. So this is where the money starts kind of crunching a little bit. Like, I still have all those... Uh, Rupee secrets I haven't used yet. Alright, so that's all four heart pieces in the game. I guess I have a little bit more time. I'm just gonna go get some more cash and beat up all these enemies. Man, there's a lot of money dropping. drop in there. <clears throat> now, I don't know how many super bombs I'm gonna need, but I know I'm gonna need to pick up at least a, a couple. I 
there's actually a lot of stuff to buy um, on, like, on the second half of the game. Uh, again, definitely, I'm probably gonna have to grind for cash. Unless I get enough money from these secrets, I don't know how much you get from it, though. And there's still two 100 rupee secrets, so... I mean, that can give me some cash. Alright, so I'm gonna pick up a couple of super bombs. And that will be useful for later on. At some point, I'm gonna have to start picking up all this money. And actually, you can you can burn this now. And I believe that's a, a 100 rupee secret. So I'll leave that there for later. Luckily, it's the same uh, maze path to get through this. You know what? I might just leave this for later. Yeah, I'm probably gonna leave that for later on because a uh, magical sword is in the on the left side here, and I need another heart container. So, probably just gonna take a, a break at this point. And uh, next part, we will probably just do more exploring. Uh, I'm not gonna go into uh, level 6 for quite a while, so, gonna explore a little bit more, probably get some more money, grind around, buy some more stuff. Alright, see you guys later.